everyone. Okay, I am here with Major Mark Vaught, who happens to be your pilot for United Airlines. Smell. And are you also in the reserves? I'm in the National Guard, in so. The National Guard. Okay. Yep. Actually, so, here, come a little closer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they can see you fully. Yeah. And so I'm an instructor pilot in KC-135. Uh, the KC-135 is a modified 707, and it's been outfitted to refuel uh, other aircraft. So our primary mission is air-to-air -air refueling. It's a force extending asset. So what that means is um, when an aircraft is in theater or in the country, we force extend, meaning we can extend their mission. So if an aircraft is heavily loaded with cargo or munitions or just troops, maybe they can't take off with the fuel, 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 fuel load, and that's where we come in. So we'll meet at a designated point in the sky and we can offload anywhere from up to 100,000 pounds. It depends on the, uh, the type of aircraft. So our offload capability is 7,000 pounds per minute. And to give you kind of a context, one of our fuel loads can fuel your car for about two years. So I can't even imagine the type of precision and coordination it takes to fuel mid-flight. How long does that typically take? And again, that's dependent. That's dependent on the fuel load. Uh, but it yeah. can take anywhere from five minutes to up to an hour. Uh, so I've refueled fighters and they're typically quicker because they're smaller aircraft. So they stay on the boom or they stay in position for maybe about five to 10 minutes. But our larger aircraft, they can stay anywhere from 10 minutes all the way up to an hour or just depending upon how long it takes to give them their fuel. Now, some pilots are really good at getting in and staying in position while other pilots need a little bit of help. So, but our crews are trained very, very well to where uh, we can get everything done in an expeditious and a quick and in a timely manner. My goodness, so amazing. And then you use terminology that maybe everyone in the audience wouldn't be familiar with. You said in theater. Does that mean like an active combat mission or what is that? Yes, ma'am. So in a theater of war, I'm sorry, I speak military a lot. So uh, um, countries like Afghanistan or Iraq, those are considered theaters of war or okay. even over the Pacific region. So. My goodness. Well, how fascinating. It's awesome you're here today to help um, share your experience and get uh, the students interested in various like STEM careers, including the ones um, available in the U.S. military. Wow. How, how interesting. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. The students are asking a lot of good questions. They're very engaged. And this is a great opportunity for them to get involved in the STEM career fields. So. Well, thank you, Major Vaught. Hey, well, thank you very much.